member of Lit G. He's going to be here for every podcast, unless you just can't make it. Oh, wait, I, need wait a I, was, I, I almost didn't, because I was giving, I was helping give Aiden the bag. All right, so real quick, I'm just going to turn my camera back on now. It should. I literally just deactivated quite literally everything in OBS. So, oh, is it, we I mean, should be chilling like villains, I would think. Yo, Vince, what the hell? Can we start the podcast what? off with you showing off your, your arm? I haven't seen that. Oh, this? That, yeah. just, uh, it's all that. I, I want to get uh, a bunch of... You can't of see right it because the blue light, but kind of it's like uh, it's I'm a not, clock. I'll talk, I'll, t I'll, I'll talk about it in a bit. <laughs> are we good? Right, to, we're gonna, are, I'm going to say, wait, yeah, can your stream hear you yet? Are, yeah. are you waiting because they can? So let's do that. You want to say the quick disclaimer that we're not going to be reading chat and all that? We just got to get in the habit of doing that. Yeah, yeah we should start. Are we going to officially start the intro? I yep. mean, I'm, I read it throughout the whole thing. If I don't have anything to say. I know, but we're not going to like necessarily acknowledge it unless like. Not unless respond to randomly it. comes yeah. up with a topic that it's like, that'd be cool to talk about. Okay. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? I am the one of the hosts here on the Lit G podcast. We are here for episode three. Quick disclaimer. We will not be reading any chats from any stream or we're going to be reading them, but we're not going to be acknowledging any of them as this is a video and soon to be audio podcast. So therefore, as someone who's not here on stream and hears us reading chat, it'd be pretty awkward. And mm. with that being said, let's get into episode three of the literal podcast. I am your host, D Dent. I am here alongside the beautiful best COD player I know, Black A. Ron. And then yeah. the second best COD player I know. Vance, Take two, two, alongside, <laughs> <laughs> I am here alongside Block A. A. Ron, the illustrious Sir Vance a lot, the stunning and beautiful Tig two two one four, and Dang, like the that. man, oh, the myth, that. the dramatic <laughs> legend. I saw, I, I saw that Vance again, that. and also Rudy's here. <laughs> but it, nice, nice. <laughs> Oh, Tig, I have to start off with something very important. Let's let's lower the volume. Uh, get the sad dramatic music on. Your Turn hair looks like fucking that. awesome. Oh, I think. Ten would agree. <laughs> Dude, I, agree. I went three months without a haircut. I had to get in today. Bro, High quality. Haircut, my barber left me. He left me to go. To I church. remember. I think you actually told the story on the first yeah, one, on episode that. zero. I think. Bro, <laughs> I'm still looking for a barber. Does anyone know a barber in the York area? I need them now. Nah, fam. I mean, if you want to drive to I'm Illinois, I've been side. going to my barber for like five years. I'll since he barber. was in school. Since he's in school. Damn. Yeah, I've been going to him since he was in school, bro. I okay, think I can be your barber, bro. I can do this. No. No. I cut can my mom's hair. Face, what? You Wait, face? you cut your mom's That's hair? No yes, wonder she's always wearing a hat. Hair. She Are you challenging her? her? <laughs> no, she cuts my hair. She can't cut her own, so I help her cut hers. And sometimes I'm just like, give me the scissors. I got this. So how is like that's uh, a challenge. How is everybody's week since the last episode of the podcast? Which we will not... I want to make another quick disclaimer. That episode doesn't exist ever again now that it's over. GG's, dude. It's just it's a venting thing. Been, my week's been good. It was well, Taylor's birthday yesterday. Pretty lit. Do you want to... tonight for dinner. Do you want to tell that story? Because one, Vance didn't really get to hear the story because of what transpired in the game chat of that game. Balaki oh, hasn't really heard it, and uh, it's a good, it's a good con. No, I heard about it. A little I, bit. I didn't, I didn't get to hear all of it. I just realized, yeah, yeah Vance what? literally heard half. I was of in it now. Yeah, story yeah. I was yesterday because uh, your game was wrong. Yeah, I would love to actually tell the story. So yesterday was Mrs. Reed's birthday, and she, yep, she yeah. was telling me. She like told me at like noon. She said, my friends want to take me out for supper tonight. And I was like, what? Like, no, no, no. Your friends don't get to take you out for supper. I get to take you out for supper. I'm your husband. We're, we're married. I take you out. If it's any other night, they can take you out for supper all they want. But I'm not they tonight. didn't want, yeah, they didn't, like, not that they didn't want me to go, but they just wanted to have their friends, like their girlfriends there. Right. So, but I was like, no, that's not how this is going to fly, chief. Like, I'm going to take you, and if they want to come and tag along, they can. And so I said, like, you pick the restaurant. We, she changed the restaurant to accommodate for where they live, which I would never do, but she's a nicer <laughs> person than I am. 
and so i said all right like whatever so we went to this restaurant i said six o'clock is the reservation like i reserved four seats at six o'clock and this was at like noon right at like 5 15 they text and said by the way i have two more people coming and i was like can't do that i can't just change the reservations to two more people to have six people now i also like, like how it's not like hey can two more people come it's hey two more people are coming to your birthday party accept it exactly like, it's not an option it's just like exactly get it done. so i called the restaurant and i was like well i can try and if they don't let us then it's not on me but they ended up letting us change it to six because like you know they weren't packed anyway there's like some pandemic i think they said going on around the world i don't know but I know. <laughs> so, never heard of it it's all me- so no. <laughs> So they let us go to six people, right? At six o'clock. And on the way to the restaurant, Taylor was like doing something with her hands. Like she was like fidgeting. And I was like, are you like nervous right now? She said, yeah. And I said, like, why? She said the two people who are coming with, she doesn't even know them. What? They're her (laughs) friends. Friends. She doesn't even know who they are. That's And I was like, I was like, what? I'm I said, sorry, why you just don't tell me this? Because I would have... She's too scared to say no. I would have been more than happy to say no. I would have been delighted. Because then I would not have to call the restaurant and get the two more seats reserved, right? Right. So I was like, well, we're already committed to this. So it hit 6 o'clock, and Taylor and I get to the restaurant, and we're the first ones there. And we sit down, and the, like the guy's like, all right, like, do you guys want to put in anything? We said, we're just going to wait for our party to get here. At 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. Remember that number. This is a very important number. At 6.45 is when the first friend arrives. Oh, 45 I minutes late. Edgar's messing with me right now. If you see me fidgeting with my hands, he won't stop. 6.45. The, the, the next friend shows up. The next friend shows up at <clears throat> 7.30. Oh, hell oh, no. oh, what? When you all agree to be there at 6, be there six. at 6. Dude, the waiter, the waiter, mm-hmm. was, the dude, dude, the waiter every 15 minutes was walking by saying, are you guys ready to order? And at one point, <laughs> I was like, I put in an appetizer just so... She had something to do. I made food. Yeah, I right? made food. And then yeah. at 8... Oh, the store get, the get, so they're talking, right? At 8 o'clock, I look at her friend, and I said, where are your other two friends at? It's been two hours. I haven't even ordered my food yet. And she said, oh, I Why forgot not? to tell you they're not coming. Like, what? I was thinking about a really weird, uh, like, a different would... perspective on this. <laughs> Last night, by the way, I was thinking, I imagine her friends left, man, her husband's such an asshole. <laughs> Wouldn't no, leave. I was, oh my god! I was kept asking us over... where they were gonna be. Like, come on, old man. We told no, you. I was... <laughs> no, I was way over nice about it. Okay, over nice, be only because it was her birthday, and I did, for the record, leave the waiter a nice fat tip for his troubles. Which also, this is another thing we need to discuss because we discussed this last night. In gaming six dollars isn't a fat tip. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the bill. Like if you have ten dollars, five dollars is a fat. I left over twenty percent. I did not leave. Damn, because didn't you say you spent like two point two million dollars? Two point three. Oh, left six. Oh. Yeah, that's like a fifty percent tip. Like so barber, the waiter's yeah. already gone. He's in Cabo. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I get my haircut, well, when I did get my haircut, because I haven't got my haircut <laughs> from an actual barber in a whole year, because, you know, there's a whole thing called a pandemic. I'm glad you're not bitter about it. Oh, you heard about that, too? <laughs> yeah. Um, I never the haircut, got the email. So. $35, and I normally leave, like, a $30 tip. Oh, my gosh. Yo, bro, you I left a $15 tip today, and my haircut was $33. I leave, like, a $10 All tip, right. and I feel like shit. Bro, I, I I leave my barber a uh, a hug for a tip because it's my mom. Actually, yeah. Now that I think about it, I don't actually I don't actually pay my barber. Whatever. Yeah. My barber is my sister. <laughs> yeah, Dang. I just give my mom a hug and I say thanks and I give her knuckle bumps. She said whenever she she just she's always not says, ready for him though. So sometimes <laughs> I end up hitting her. <laughs> sometimes I hit <laughs> Hey, thanks, mom. Like you cut G, boom. <laughs> what time in the back of the head? I'm gonna let Edgar out of my room while you didn't continues this. I like. Well, my week's been I. It's been like you want to talk terrible so, and good at the same time. We're we gonna talk about what happened uh, today, Blocky. That we're going with this now. Oh, we definitely Ooh. need to. All right. So today I woke up to 
I have to be at work. I thought I had to be at work at 12. So I leave my house. I wake up at like 1040, hop in the shower, get out of my shower, let my dog out, get back in my car. And I started driving to work. Not even a minute into the, my um, drive to work. I'm going 51 and a 35. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is that speeding? Wait, wait, no. I just, wait, real quick question. What? Did you realize you were doing that? Or is it just like heads off, you're thinking about other things? Heads off, thinking about other things and just driving. Like, was it like a windy day? But hold on, he wasn't just driving because was he has a stick shift, so he was just going. <laughs> <laughs> I was in third gear, okay. Yo, so you should have known once you hit third gear that I'm going too fast for this road. Yeah, you literally manually shifted three times. <laughs> you manually shifted to a stick that is highly illegal, no matter what speed in that stick you're going. I can show you where the way I was going. Like literally, it was like a minute, like not even a minute down the road. Like here's the red Bro, light. I'm this turning. man can grab the camera, look out the window, and go right there, right there. Like literally, like, I, I just pulled out of my driveway. <laughs> going 51 miles an hour. <laughs> that's that's how far I was. So also oh my my, my car's out of inspection. So I'm going down this, going 51 miles an hour, going down the other side of the road. Police officer is chilling at the Dunkin' Donuts. What's up? What, what is, like, what's an inspection? Okay, yeah, this, is, this is, like, just your state or just a couple yeah, of states. no one else has ever heard of this. So, yeah, I don't... so Essentially, year, you got your earnings PA, checked. Yeah, I got my earnings checked pretty much. So in the state of PA, you have your safety uh, inspection and you have your uh, emissions. So each year you have to get it checked. And I didn't get mine checked this year because, you know, there's a whole thing called a fucking pandemic. So, so like, what does that do? Like, what does that affect? What would... I have no Is idea. Is it, like, car insurance or something? Like, why do you, what is no, the point like, of getting this? I'm sure, I'm sure, like, the evaluation for the safety part is, like, correlated with insurance and stuff. And then the emissions is just your standard so, emissions test. In PA, it's every year. In Maryland, it's every three years that you have to do it. Uh, so... I, uh, I live next I to Detroit. It. As long as you don't shoot anybody, you're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so if you do, just don't get caught. I, as I'm passing him, he straight makes a U-turn out of because I don't. It's only I can show you what what's happening. But He's I'm gonna, gonna take us out. I was going there. <laughs> so I'm going this way. He's showing like this, and he pulls out and just does a U-turn. I'm the only car in the area and i'm like bro i'm getting pulled over like there's no question that you're going to pull out of there that quickly and not pull me over so i just pulled over and he just got up right behind me and then we're in the middle of pretty much it's a two lane road and my car is sticking uh half a lane out because it's that tight and i was like i poked my head out the window i was like can i just like drive and go in that hotel parking lot and he's like yeah and I was like, all right, bet. And he just escorted me yeah. there and uh, he, he locks me in and he walks over to my passenger window. He's like, you know why I pulled you over? I'm like, well, there's only two options. No, officer, but why do you have a gun and cuffs in your hand? <laughs> either you got me for speeding, A, or you got me for my inspection. He's like, I got you for both. I was like, dude, he probably didn't even think of the inspection, but your dumb ass told him. <laughs> yeah, you told him. I probably. He honestly had no idea why he pulled you over, but because you said it, he had to add it in. There. You were speeding, my then, speedometer was broken. I was just going to tell you you had a taillight up. <laughs> Do you know why I pulled Shit. you over? Because I know. I just don't like to drive alone. And... Is he making noise in that trunk? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Would you mind chloroforming him for me? Here's the rag. Well, uh, long story short, I ended up getting a ticket. It's called a sliding mm -hmm. ticket, which I've never heard of. Uh, so Is it like, I like slang ticket? for drifting? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so supposedly it's a thing where it's based off your income so the municipal building like supposedly keeps track of like your tax bracket and everything and you'd like call in and they'll be like hey yo this is your ticket number or your citation number like, hey yo earnings then, check <laughs> yeah earnings so, check and then they box you like a fish based off <laughs> and your dog water great uh, dog water bro great dog water dollar free or so free so free dollar tree so headset. have you figured out what yours is yet no, I never called him. Uh, mm. I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna, paying. The, I'm not paying the bill. I'm just just go to the building and have them scan and be like, just tell me what it is and just pay it right then and there. I have ten days, and mm. if not, I get a warrant for my arrest and I go to jail. Oh, well, oh so that's so not good. Bad. <laughs> yeah. And next week, Blockade's last podcast. Nah, I'm gonna <laughs> that shit. 
No, you can hit next week. He says he has 10 days, right? Yeah. You can yeah, hit next week's days. podcast, too, and then you're done. So I said next week is his last. Oh, hey, guys. Okay. What is up? <laughs> Black AA Ron here. Really happy to be here. Officer Dave is here. What's standing by? Just in case. He's not letting me take the cops off. Probably because I stabbed Officer Richards last week, by the way. Yeah, sorry about that. But uh, today we're going to get into literal episode four. I told you it was my donut. Oh, I told you. <laughs> I, I called dips. I told that bitch <laughs> stop running. <laughs> um, I called dips. Yeah. Oh, and then when he went to go back away, because I looked at the ticket, because I was like, man, how much is this ticket? Because I can't see it anywhere. And I walked out of the car, and he started, he stopped, and I was like, he how much is this? He shot you twice. I was like, where's the cost of the ticket? Well, you have to call and find out. Like, why yeah, no ticket has a cost on him. <laughs> Can you call? <laughs> my last ticket did. My last ticket was $188. Jeez Louise, guy. You gotta stop speeding. Jeez, the last ticket I got, I just called someone. They're like, yeah, don't worry about it. So. Yeah, because you're military. <laughs> Dude, I only ever got one. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was literally, it happened <laughs> In in my driveway. Gosh, Van, I like, this be, makes no sense. Being in the military is so easy and stress free. I swear, man. No. <laughs> so my roommate got so lucky. Over in our driveway. Uh, roommate, uh, what? My roommate's gotten pulled over in our driveway. He literally just pulled into the driveway, and the police officer followed us into the driveway, pulled up behind him, and turned on the lights as he was walking to our door. He's like, "Can you keep, please get back in the car?" <laughs> you looked like you were going to speed, so I'm going to give you a ticket. What? <laughs> Yeah, it was like 11 o'clock at night, and they pulled him over because they just got in a car accident the day before. Someone rear-ended them, and uh, the tail light was folded in. Like, the tail light still worked, but since it was folded in, they're like, yeah, you can't drive it like that. And it was kind of BS. Can I have a fun? So like, I happened when I was sleeping, so... Damn, I woke up, and then I... <laughs> no, I just woke up. <laughs> it was, was like in the middle of the night. All right, I woke up at like two, like two hours after... They put it on my car, and then I just walk out there. And I'm like, it's literally in my, it's like in front of my driveway. Like, I don't know what I did wrong. Dude, the so only I time I ever got a ticket. Just, like, so, What's up? my question is, why were you sleeping in your car in your driveway? I see you've never had a hard that? day's work. No. <laughs> I, got, I got nothing for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, no, I was, I, was, I was sleeping in my house. Was... <laughs> Probably that midget with the chloroform. Dude, so, listen, I went, I got one parking ticket ever. I went to Chicago for a Super Smash Bros. event, and literally the whole time I was, like, there was no parking. There's never any parking anywhere in Chicago. I couldn't even find paid parking. And I was Max. like, you know what, I'm just gonna, like... Oh, you gotta take bikes. Dude. Whenever okay, I go like, to Chicago... It was a two-hour drive, so it would've been an uh, eight-hour okay. yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know where you live and don't live, so I just thought, oh, Chicago... Okay, so, yeah, I go there... And because, like, this is, like, the biggest, like, at the time, this was the biggest Smash Bros. event, like, weekly Smash Bros. event. Like, they had over 100 people every week there. It was at this, like, nice place. And I finally found a spot. And it was, like, right at the end of the line. I was, like, I don't even care how far I have to walk. And so, like, I, like, get the spot and I go inside. And we're in there for, like, a few hours because, like, even after I lost, like, it, like everyone just hangs out and just keeps playing. Because Smash Bros. is one of the only games that is terrible online. Like, it's actually a a million times better like in person and like when i left i was like i don't know why but i have this strange feeling about when i get to my car and i walk up to my car and there's like this pink paper not even on my car it's next to my car on the ground like so it almost <laughs> flew away and i pick it up and it's a freaking parking violation and i was like it's because i parked too close to a fire hydrant i was like are you kidding me it was like 75 bucks bro you can't park near a fire hydrant you should have knew that bro I didn't see it because I was late to the place because I was circling finding a parking spot. Everywhere was parallel parking. Like, there wasn't a parking so, lot. If I have to go to an event, I'm leaving, like, five hours in advance to make it's not gonna sure It's going to make a I difference a in Chicago. Spot. Seriously, Chicago, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't like, matter Chicago is very busy. Yeah. So, no matter what time you go around, it, the best thing to do is either walk or just ride a bike. Speaking of the brake yeah. light, I have a funny uh, work story. So oh, this is who talked about a brake light. Light. We, we light. We were talking about you guys were talking about yeah. Okay. Black was talking about brake lights. About when his friend got pulled over the driveway. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so put on the brakes, Vance, before you come at me. Yeah. <laughs> check your earnings next time. <laughs> <laughs> I will take you to Pennsylvania yeah. and I'll earnings check your. <laughs> I but, uh, but uh, oh no, did it? 
his camera froze as he doors. got up. No, Rudy! This is why you don't shut doors. You bitch! What do you mean? My Your camera fucking camera froze. Again. Yeah. You're halfway standing up right now. I can so read your shirt. Thing, we have two options. Option one, I try to fix it, and there's a good chance that everything freezes. Wait, hold on a second. In your stream, your camera's fine. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, on my side, it's fine. Yeah, but the problem is when Discord crashes. It's so Discord weird. Discord hasn't crashed yet, so be chilling. So you guys, that's what I'm saying, but, like, as soon as I touch it and I try to fix it, that's when it freezes. Just don't to touch pull. it. You, you, we're just, we'll yeah. just have you send me the VOD again. Actually, no, mine still looks better because I have crap. You can just keep... Maybe just you're keep trapping my... in too much Wi-Fi and you should open up your door. <laughs> I don't care. You guys can. You guys. The people can just be frozen. Literally, I don't know why. It, this is this is weird. I have everything deactivated. What what, what am I gonna do? But no. Uh, so this is when I started working at at the mechanics place. A guy was in the turn lane to turn left into our shop, and he didn't have a. We figured out right away that it was. You know, he's probably going to get a light change because there was no turn signal on. He didn't have a brake light. So a cop pulls up behind him and turns on his lights. Hey. So he pulls in as the cop pulls in with him. And we open, we had the doors open. We purposely opened them. We're like, we want to hear this. Cop walks up. <laughs> you know why I pulled you over today? <laughs> he literally goes, officer, if this is about the light, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> and, he, oh. and he goes yeah you probably shouldn't drive around my town with a brake light out young man he goes do you know where we're at right now he goes yeah yeah I do do you know what I'm here to do right now what's that fix this fucking brake light <laughs> <laughs> the oh, cop still gave him a fix it ticket and then the whole time the cop is standing outside our shop you better be getting that light fixed. I'll be watching. You better be getting that light fixed. Oh, that's harassment. That I would be like, quack. yo. Because I live in a small me, town. Like... All the cops do is harass people. Here's a quack. All the good cops are 20 minutes down the road in Detroit. <laughs> you funny. Are you sure about that? <laughs> so, uh. Anybody else have so any how, good work how, stories? How's your week? I mean, I almost wrapped a GT500 around a pole. On purpose? That's not, that's not that interesting. Wait, Wait how is that <laughs> work related? Because I used to work at a car dealership. I work at a chop oh, shop. You, you used to work in a GT. Huh? You used to work in a GT? I didn't. I work, I, so I worked <laughs> at CarMax. And so we had a whole separate lot. I probably shouldn't even be talking about this because someone bought this car. Um, so, <laughs> so when we don't have a Black title for the sued. car, yeah, uh, they won't even know it was that specific car. It's a black, uh, 2014 Mustang four or I, I can't speak right now. Fuck it. I'm going to get back into the story. <laughs> so CarMax, if we didn't have a title for a car, we had a whole separate lot to, uh, go send the cards so we can wait. So the state can send us the title. And the one night. We had to go pick it or bring it back to uh, the lot because we got the title in. And I was like, man, I kind of want to just mess around in this uh, car. And, oh, boy. Yeah. So we, I got to the very end of the lot, and I was just going to launch it. And it just previously snowed like the day before, so it was a little icy. And I hit a patch of ice in between third and fourth, like going in between third and fourth gear. And the whole car fishtailed it out uh. at like 80 miles an hour. And... I spun out and almost hit a pole. It was fun. Why'd you I do that? Got... Why? Because yeah. it was fun and I wanted to launch the thing. Dude, I, had a, I have a kind of crazy car story. 707 horsepower. Like, you can't. No, this is a You're acting like people story. didn't do it. You're telling yeah, me. This, you I got a worth a story. <laughs> I got a worth a car story, dude. So I remember. So I always oh, had like problems. Work. <laughs> what? Oh, work? No, nah, we're not talking about work. Now we're talking about cars. Oh, oh shit, Block is like, yes! We're talking about cars now. Listen, <laughs> I had to drive my grandpa's Mustang like for like two weeks at one point because I just, the car I bought, like literally just kept going down. Like it just kept breaking. Something would just keep breaking, right? I had to drive my grandpa's Mustang, which is quite literally the worst car to drive in the winter. Like, yeah, I, I like, mean, it's one of the worst cars to drive in the winter. I can agree. So, 
I was driving it, and this was back like when I was driving like 45 minutes to an hour to work every day, and I had to get on the interstate, and dude, so I was driving, it was like a snowy day, and I got on the interstate, and the interstate wasn't like you just smoothly get on. It was one where like you had to U-turn to get on. Like, I don't, I don't know how, why they had to set up like that, but you know what I'm talking about. I, I could say that. So it doesn't matter, but so I had U-turn to get on, and literally... You have to like so you U turn so you're going super slow and then you have to floor it to get up to speed with the interstate cars. So you're not messing Michigan with left. Okay, so I get on I get on the ramp, I do the U turn, I start driving, and literally I hit black ice and my Mustang is spinning in the middle of the interstate and I see a semi truck flying right at me. Like and then like very like last second it swerves into the next lane over. Like it kind of like pushes another car off the road, and I slam into the middle like barrier, and I was like, I literally just watched my life flash before my eyes. It was like the craziest I, thing ever. So last year on my birthday, I have a similar story to that. I have a lot of instances where I, I've almost died in a car. You're a really good driver, I can tell. Yeah, probably that was my only driver. one. No, no, no. Yeah, I, that's that's okay. my only one. You're a good driver, but you're purposely reckless. <laughs> I'm a, no, I'm a good driver. The person in front of me decided to stop in the middle of a highway. And, and you when were just I hit my you, closing your dumb eyes. bitch had a stroke. <laughs> when I hit my brakes, I slid out. Like, my car kicked out. Because I had to downshift as I'm hitting my brakes. So I don't, like, completely stall out. And uh, when I hit my brakes, I fishtailed this way. And my front end of the car is in the other lane. And 18 wheelers coming this way. And I, hurried, I had to clutch kick it this way to straighten it out and as i'm trying to straighten out the car in front of me is stopped so i'm trying not to hit that car so i pretty much was like this in the middle of the highway Oof, yeah they decided to stop because someone got in an accident a quarter mile down the road he's like i gotta stop right now yeah it, it, it was very very uh interesting oh nope. there he goes nope, it happened and there he's back my disc oh. crashed hello <laughs> yeah <laughs> Hey, what's up? How you doing? Am I here? Can you see me again? No. Follow no, our can't. voice. There you go. Now? Blink twice Dude, if you're so, in trouble. Oh. Okay, well, let me tell. <laughs> let me tell you what just happened. Four times he's dead. Shit. Hold on, guys. I might have an idea now of how, like, the podcast can be saved. So literally, you guys said like my my camera froze on your end. My end it didn't freeze. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, like we're always like fine. Like you guys will see me frozen. I just sat here and like. Like for the last five seconds, it started blinking and then it just crashed. And I was about to open it again, but it just reopened. So let's see what happens now. Stop know. blinking. Wait, Rudy's gonna hop in on his phone. So the house burned down. <laughs> oh, no. My computer is smoking for some reason. But this turns out seems the to be camera working. was overheating and that caused the fire, and that's why it was freezing. Oh, good thing goodness. you're building the house. Right. I'm just glad that turns out I shouldn't have closed really. my door. <laughs> like four seconds, or not even four seconds. But fireman exactly. walks up. Well, there's too much Wi-Fi in this room. That's definitely what caused <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Why didn't it's you have a good. window or a door open? <laughs> it's never good. It has to circulate. The kid, the, the computer couldn't handle all these megabits. <laughs> <laughs> that bit rate's too high. So uh, let's go Man, scroll over to our ping. let's scroll over to our topics. Uh, I feel like Valorant's kind of a weird topic to jump into next, so let's jump into our question from the community or a topic from the community. We're going to be picking one topic from the community per week. We're going to shout you out. This one is brought to you by Scary Gary. What was the one thing you got? What was the worst thing you got in trouble for at school? Who wants to start? I I got this. This was in. It was somewhere between third and sixth grade. I know that's like pretty vague, but that's all I got for you. Okay, I'm thinking it was like fourth I need or exact fifth grade. Days. I think it was like fourth or fifth grade. What time? Pretty dumb. Uh, so I was on the bus, so probably set, no, on the way home, so probably three twenty-two. Well, what way was the Control. what way was the sun facing? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so. What did you have for lunch? <laughs> did you even eat lunch though. yet? Was it, towards said, the it was it was after school. Oh, the story probably okay. happened because he didn't need lunch. So I was on the bus, and guys, listen. When you hear the story, you go back, "Wow, what an idiot!" Right? Because I was an I, idiot. I think that so, a lot when I talk to you. This, so this is in the days like we're collecting Pokemon cards, and I had a nice binder of Pokemon cards, and people were showing them off. No, 
This was Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Not Pokemon. Bro, I didn't people, see Yu-Gi-Oh collection. People were showing them off, right? And for some reason, this other kid had one that wasn't even necessarily better than mine, but I wanted his cards. And I've never stolen anything in my life, but I was like, I'm going to get those cards. <laughs> Rudest! <laughs> Literally, I've never stolen anything Light before this. I've never stolen anything before this or after this. And this stolen attempt was by far the worst attempt you'll ever hear. I'm so happy to tell this story. So, this kid sits <laughs> hey, in pop, the pop, front pop, seat. Pop, 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 pop. This kid's... Do you have Slight of Hand Pro? No, I don't. That's no, I do not. That's probably why you got in trouble for this. <laughs> Listen to this. This kid sits in the front seat. This is how dumb this is. He sits in the front seat behind the bus driver, which is his mom. So That's genius. Nobody's going to fucking... No one would ever be stupid enough to try to steal your Pokemon cards if you sit there. Continue your story, bro. <laughs> so, I freaking... I sat down next to him. Literally never talked to him ever before. Never sat to sat next to him either. Like, how blatantly obvious is this? Sit down next to him, and I was like, dude, can I see your cards? Like, your binder? And he's like, sure. And then... <laughs> And then you just took Literally. it and ran to the back of the bus. <laughs> Listen, he looked out to the he looked out the window. He looked out the window. I just shoved it in my backpack. And he's like, Did you give me my cards back? I said, Yeah, I already gave them back to you. You're so stupid. And I got off the bus. Wait, the he believed day, you? Yeah, he's a dumb kid. Then the next day, the principal called me down to the office and was like, I want those Pokemon cards. <laughs> or Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Ironically, yeah. the kid never got his Yu-Gi-Oh cards back, but the principal won four tournaments in Yu-Gi-Oh that year. What was even dumber about the whole thing is that I brought them back the next day. And I was like, oh, here they are. Children. Yeah. Rudy's That's idea was, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry someone stole your collection. You could buy this one off me for a grand. <laughs> That's my amazing story to kick it off. Try to top that. Okay, so um, I once got suspended for three days for bite the principal. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, GGs. <laughs> so essentially... <laughs> it's it's like this. <laughs> so this story was thro thrown way out of proportion. So essentially what had happened was my sister was getting picked on on the bus. My older sister. Was it by the principal? But did he... <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. It was by Rudy after he stole some kids' Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, uh... Fuck, I lost my train of thought. So I was on the bus. This kid was making fun of my sister. I was in, like, kindergarten, and... I, I, had, some, I had some kahunas for being in kindergarten. This kid was in, like, second grade. So I'm like, you know what? I woke up today, and I chose violence. And I woke up... I mean, I stood up, wham, right in the butt. <laughs> Just started oh beating on this kid. I don't know why. I mean, you know, only only I get to call my sister a doo doo head. So I just started beating on this kid. <laughs> and so we roll up to the school, and the print and like, I guess they, I, I'm assuming bus drivers like talk to the school because like the principal's already sitting there. Yo, come here! And he grabbed me by the arm, and for some reason. The way the elementary school worked is someone has to be watching the kids come in to make sure everybody's safe. And that was the principal that was doing it. So also, not only am I getting in trouble, we're just standing there for like five minutes as everybody's walking into the school. And this is how dumb, like, I didn't think. My nose started running. And I'm like, I need to wipe this off. So instead of using my free hand, I tried to use the hand he was holding so I ended up using his glove, and he goes, oh. don't try to bite me, you little shit. <laughs> Just RKO'd you right there. <laughs> don't try to bite me. <laughs> I got down, all of a sudden I just hear, get over here, and I got a fucking spike and bail on my chin. <laughs> I got suspended for three days, and here's why I will always love my grandfather. He goes, I'm proud of you, kid. Let's go get McDonald's. And we got McDonald's that day. Heck yeah. <laughs> Did he nice. taste like chicken or beef? Uh fuck. I'm trying to remember. Look, kind of like kind of like orange chicken, but like orange chicken that's like obviously been out chicken. for like an hour. Like a general Like like it really soaked in there in almost a bad way. Oh. 
That's no bueno. Yeah, yeah. Four out of five. Four out of ten. Not the best principal I've eaten. I mean, <laughs> I've had better. Be- more. <laughs> what? So in high school, better. in high school, I used to walk around with these steak knives, and you know, one time I'm just like, "Hey, what's up, Prince?" And I ate them. All right, what happens? So mine oh, is geez. not on the par of your guys's because in school I was the quiet kid, so I didn't really do anything crazy in school. Uh, but, but I used to carry around here, a Glock in my pack. <laughs> it's the silent ones you gotta watch out for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My senior year, I almost did not graduate because halfway through, like in the, I would say March, I moved from uh, out of the district, but I didn't want to transfer schools because I only had two months left. So my mom was like, I'll just drive you there. And my mom didn't have a car, so we had to use my grandmother's car. So every day up to like the last two weeks of school, I was coming in about an hour late and my teacher was just getting fed up with it. He was like, and the thing is, I didn't really do anything in that class. I mostly slept in that class because it was early in the morning. I was like, bro, I don't feel like doing shit. <laughs> you good, Dan? <laughs> yeah, I, I know what we're talking about next. I was like, I just kept it real. I was like, bro, I already know what I'm doing. Like, I'm <laughs> my classwork can be done like, like that. So I was like, I don't feel like doing anything. And so I was coming in late and he got fed up with it. So... Uh, the one day he we got into like a screaming match. He's like, "Yo, if you don't come in on time for from the rest of the school year, I will fail you instantly, and you will not be able to walk across." And I was like, "She's gonna break I, your legs." <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "I was like, I bet. <laughs> Say no more." <laughs> uh, so for a good week and a half, I was coming in on time. I had to wake up my grandmother so I can get the keys and be like, "Hey, yo, we're going to school. I need your fucking keys." Um, so my mom would drive us to school and it it was all good. It was all good. And then literally like two days before graduation, my mom would not get up. I was like, I guess I'm not graduating. I walked in, I was 10 minutes late. The teacher is just like looking at me. Like I could see him fuming. Like his face got so red. I was like, are you going to fail me? And just walked down to my seat and just sat there. But that's pretty much it. I almost didn't graduate because I was because you're like, like so much. Uh, so, uh, it was like it was a fifty day streak of being late. Oh my, he, dude! He was getting pissed. There was some numbers. I can't blame him. Yeah, I was walking in the middle of class. He'll be in the middle of uh, presentating. I'm like, hey, what's up? I'm here. <laughs> my <laughs> my senior seat. year, I missed 179 days. That's the yeah. whole school year. Yeah, <laughs> That's the whole school year. Dude, I just sat in the. Yeah. We had like a media center library room that I just sat there with my girlfriend all day. In my senior year, I skipped like at least once a week, easily. FYI, That's rookie that, numbers. FYI, that class is the class that I met that chick. Oh, oh boy, oh. That we're Marcus not got a crush. About. Although we, I mean, you just did. I Marcus mean, got a that, crush. That, that's where. Because no one else knows the story. But That's where the it. romance began. Yeah. So, uh, so Tig. Let's hear it, Tig. You want to tell us that story it. about how you shoved a kid into Notorious's locker? I didn't shove him into it. No, no, no. <laughs> Out of context, all right. That's not even the worst thing that's ever happened to me because, you know, that didn't happen to me. I did that to somebody. That day, it was like this tall dude. He's like, Six two, six three, something like that. You know, he's a little skinny, some bitch though. He's making fun of Notorious. I mean, me and Notorious are short. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm five five. He's five four. This dude's a foot taller than us. No big deal. But he's making fun of Notorious. I like grab his shirt, pick him up off the ground, and slam him into the locker. I'm like, just leave my brother alone. You know, not like that. But kind of got yelled at for that. But no. Uh, <clears throat> The one time I can remember, like, actually getting in trouble, I was in third grade, and I used to, like, do these little doodles, like, little cartoons, you know, no big deal. But I made one, and it was this dude, and he was a gun, and he shot himself. That was stupid, third grade, whatever. But I gave it to my friend. Oh. He put it in his, I was just like, look what I did type thing, you know? He put it in his pocket, and he's we like, yeah, about it's really context cool. context that day. <laughs> no. no. He puts it in his pocket, goes home. His mom finds it in his laundry. She calls the school, bitching and complaining about it. 
So I get called down to the office. It was like three days after I gave it to them. And they're like, so you want to explain this? I was like, it's just a little picture I drew. And I showed it to them and, you know, that's that. I got a three-day in-school suspension in third grade for drawing a stupid picture. Dude, this dude's yeah, mom still hates third, me. Still hates me to this grader. day. To this because, day. Like, no joke. Still it's hates me mom. every time he brings <laughs> it. No, it's not. It's not. Tig just walks out to his car and his tires are flashed. It's that picture on his windshield. <laughs> yeah, so right. for three days, I went into the office and just sat there with all my homework, got it done within two hours, and chilled with the office lady. It was dope. Hey, what up, pimp? Every morning, just walk in. Hey, what's up? I'm going to do my homework real quick. I Finish remember it within a couple hours. And... The time I got in school suspended was... Uh, so essentially, me and my friend... My best friend, still to this day, if you're watching this, Steve, what's up? Uh, we would always, I me and him were kind of, kind of had that rivalry where it's like, you know, whenever you said, yeah, you do it, you won't, you won't. It's like, oh, fuck. Now I got to do no it. No balls. And oh, I we, have to. We were in <laughs> our class and we like both stood up. For, we were like joking around and stood up for something. And I was, he made a joke and I like picked up my book jokingly like I was going to throw it at him. He goes, do it, do it, you won't. So obviously I threw the fucking book at him and I, I wailed him in the face. And it, the look of shock on his face. He's like, ah, okay. And the best part is the whole time the teacher's watching, just in that moment, okay, we're gonna work to attend to dude, nobody and nobody snitched on me. So I just got away with just wailing him in the face with a book. Shit. He liked that. I know it's the story of the time I got in school suspended, but that went to a different story. The time I got in school suspended, I held my fist out as a joke in front of my friend. He wasn't looking and walked into it, and I'm no no shit got in school suspended for it. Uh, <laughs> Matt, if you're watching you this, you took that day away from me, and one day I will take your life. And the milk went everywhere. What? I heard so milk went everywhere. Yeah. So this kid, we were he got drop kicked, and then his milk <laughs> flew out of him. <laughs> <laughs> It was so, red too. It must have no, been stronger. Where milk. did you get kicked? <laughs> we, were in the, we were in the cafeteria. It was me and my cousin. We were just sitting there eating, and we're looking across at the cafeteria. And this guy just comes running in, drop kicks him while he was drinking milk, and it just went everywhere. Like, did he? Did <laughs> he catch some like, air? Like, <laughs> but like he just straight red. I don't have my what's it called? My camera facing that way, or I would run and like like jump and like drop kick. But he just anyway. got that watching Karate Kid or WWE that day. Bro, this <laughs> this know. man, and we were just sitting there, like, just looking like, what the fuck just happened? Like, Is he what dead? did that kid do? And then the guy just got up and just walked away. And I was like... Just found out he could take flights. So. <laughs> I was yeah. like, He jumped off the building that night. We didn't see him anymore. After Rudy that. and I missed out on some like, good ass. I just want to know, like how. <laughs> I just want to know how high he got. <laughs> like, I don't know. It was like, like, was he an athletic kid? You know, was he just one of the like goofballs? A, he was like a good like midsection, like kick, like he straight Ooh. ran up and drop kicked him, then got up and just walked away. And I, like That's me and my do. cousin, just looked at each other and we're like, "What just happened?" I feel like that dude just crapped his pants. <laughs> and like the milk just went everywhere. <laughs> Ironically, right before it made content, everything cut out. We just heard a, dis a voice off in the distance. No earnings, zero PR, get wrecked, box like a fish, Costco free samples. Then he started default dancing. <laughs> like, I'm like, I was like, what the fuck did that kid to do? Or what did he do to deserve that? Like, out of nowhere. Like, I want to know the context behind that because it was just, it was insane. I just thought of a great new series. I'm going to start putting uh, that, like, sound bit behind just the most random clips in history. John Wilkes Booth sitting behind Abraham Lincoln. Zero PR, <laughs> no earnings, get bucks like a fish. <laughs> Dollar Tree headset. <laughs> so free. Literally dog water. <laughs> I, I really want to show a funny clip. I want to show a funny clip from earlier, but technically we can't all see it, so there's no point. So I'll show it after the podcast. But, uh. Real quick, take an unshare your screen and you hurry up and screen or share yours. Oh, yeah, that works it too much. Too much. But you uh, guys do it at the same time. Vance, what's your? Uh, do you have a story? If, did you get in trouble in school a lot? Uh, uh so no. Uh, I did a lot of bad things, but 
my mom was like friends with everyone so like the town that i grew up in everyone that pretty much worked at the school like they never left the town so they pretty much just stayed there and so i could show up late regardless and i just get like they would just write off a note i did funny things nice. like i had a friend uh, i dared my friend that he couldn't throw a thing of milk across the room into the trash can and then he straight hit the bookshelf and exploded all over the wall so. <laughs> and someone walked in and drop kicked another kid like, <laughs> like or like uh what was it i had i had a milk carton and it was empty this is in uh someone middle school <laughs> <laughs> i was a really big class clown like i got in trouble for that but nothing like too serious like i don't know i uh what was it i played jenga in a science class um, the fuck does that even mean? So we brought so we brought Jenga <laughs> in, right? And we had this teacher, like he he was like the most chill guy ever. It was hilarious. Like we always tested to see what we can get away with. So we literally just brought Jenga in while he was doing a PowerPoint presentation, <laughs> the whole class, and we were literally sitting in the middle of the room with this giant thing of Jenga, and we we're playing it, right? So then we had two the two bottom pieces were gone. So there's like one piece on the bottom, you know, and. uh oh. After after a while, he was like, "All right, that's it, guys. Just put it down." I was like, "Wait, wait, wait! I got to get rid of this bottom piece." I was like, "I did it once before in my entire life. I got to do it again." And as he was walking over, I just took the piece and just slapped my hand underneath it, and then the Jenka piece flew across the room. So then we put it away, and then about five minutes later, we got bored and started playing uh, Invisible Jenga, and then he got mad at us because <laughs> we'd be sitting there like <laughs> we'd be sitting there just kind of going like, "Oh, you know, like taking out the pieces." And oh, then every now and then oh, we'd be like, oh, oh, oh. like <laughs> and he's like, stop. <laughs> we're like, there's nothing here. Like, he's like, stop playing Jenga. And I'm like, there's no Jenga here. <laughs> Fuck, like, dude, you ruined it. I would have looked at him and be like, do you see Jenga in the room right now? <laughs> what, what the... <laughs> point, point me in the direction of Jenga in this current room and we will uh... No, one bad thing that actually reminds me of something because it is, does have to do with Jenga. One of the bad things, like really bad things that... uh. Someone in my school, this wasn't a story about me, did. So I'm going to set the scene. You're going to immediately realize how bad this is. So September 11th, uh, oh. <laughs> these two kids got suspended because they kept going to each of their classes, setting up two Jenga towers and throwing things at it for the whole class. Oh, no. Bro, that's my stuff. That's the kind of that shitty school I went to. They deserve that one. That also reminds oh. me of the time that I almost burned down my chemistry uh, classroom. Well, it was the whole classroom. Who doesn't accidentally burn down the chemistry? Yeah, I mean that's chemistry. No, 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 that's that's like, chemistry. Did you learn chemistry? I had a friend that almost blew up uh, half the school when, uh, in metal class. That was fun. It's, yeah, he took a it was a settling gas torch. Have you guys ever done like welding, like metal class? Yeah. Mm. Uh, so he had a settling gas, and he's like, "Well, acetylene is heavier than air, so he grabbed a bucket and just filled it up with acetylene." Obviously, he can't see it, so he, he thought this is probably good enough. And then when he sparked it, I guess there was so much in there that it actually imploded in the can and then oh, like shit. singed his eyebrows. Well, so. that wasn't mine. We, we were literally, I mean, he was perfectly fine. We were lighting but... matches and just throwing it in the trash can. And just... Oh, all right. That's a little oh, different. <laughs> I mean, what, happened, what he did, there was no, there was no evidence. Like... <laughs> He just told everyone. But. We went to Photoshop. It didn't sound like we had an active shooter, though, because it was so loud. Me. It echoed through the school. Oh, so We would have a bunch of, like, water fights with, the, like, the uh, distilled water, too. That was fun. Well, also, that guy didn't have eyebrows anymore. That was the other evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever he no, he in, had eyebrows. They were just a little singed. Okay? Uh, <laughs> they looked he, a little different, like something's wrong, but I don't know what it is. Poor you know? guy couldn't look confused for a month. <laughs> Did he, did he, That's okay he though. He's a twin, so you know. Did he attempt to draw him in after a while? Uh, or did he just let it go. No, no, it was just let it, it was go. Just done, done. Yeah, just done and done. Let it so go. he had a, he had a twin brother, so it was okay. It kind of worked let out. Go. So can I tell a story? Uh, because I I keep forgetting it and re remembering it. So it's not, this isn't this is like a weird time to say it, but I want to say it because it's entertaining. But I'm probably gonna forget it. So this happened today. <laughs> so. Oh. I'm not going to name any name or positions because I stream from work sometimes. And so that'll give it away. But there's a person who almost always calls in at least once or twice a week. And uh, this person called in today. And they used a really like 
they used an excuse that was so bad that we're like, okay, so we actually believe him this time. Because normally it's like, he always is like, yeah, I've got back problems or i got kidney stones. Because this man has kidney stones. He's already had them 12 times in 2021. But uh, <laughs> he goes, he called up my boss. He goes, boss, boss, uh, I, woke, I woke up, I woke up, and I, I, my dog's on the floor in the bathroom, and there's blood everywhere. And so we're like, holy shit. We're like, you, dude, you take all the time off you need. You, you like you, you go take care of it, man. Like that, I'm really sorry to hear that. And then, about two hours later, my coworker's mother sends a video of that person walking the dog outside their apartment because he got a free day off. So he's like, "I'm gonna just go walk the dog." Wait, so the mom sent you a video? No, no, no. The like mom, how? the mom of my coworker sent my coworker a video. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I used the excuse our dog died. I'm gonna go walk the dog, honey. <laughs> Dude, that's best. Dude, um, like how? What a fucking weird. Listen, whenever I needed to call off, I I would always make sure that I had a story that I don't want to actually happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, not that I believe that, like, if I say so-and-so got hurt, that they're actually going to get hurt. But I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to... I'm not going to say anyone got Never hurt. test God. <laughs> or anyone's sick. Because, like, oh, man, I can't come in. My dog is throwing up blood. And it's just like, oh, wait, now he actually is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Call the next day. Yeah, boss, I'm going to need the day off. Why? My dog actually died. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, yesterday I said he died. Well, he didn't. Today, <laughs> though. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. The car <laughs> came out of nowhere. Dude, why does it suck calling into work so bad? Even when you're actually sick. Why is there just such this? Dude, dude I like shake when I have to call into work. It, uh, literally, when I had COVID this year, I was shaking calling into work. And I had dude, a fucking vi the virus of the pandemic. And I'm like, I'm pretty yeah. sure to be mad. Yeah, this is how my phone call goes. I, what are you saying? I'm I mean, I need. I'm not coming in today. Okay. Yeah, I, I, Bro, I, I need a, block a lot of proof for when I get sick. We get a black ear cool. Like, I gotta call, like, three different people, get, like, paper proof, like, written down, and then even though I'm, like, dying, I have to still somehow find my way to work to give them the paper and then proceed to then go right back home. <laughs> if Vance can calls in, it's considered treason. Guys, well, can't completely get... off topic, I just realized, you know the thing that says twitch.tv, Balake, Aaron? Yeah. Ooh. It is. It's blockade Aaron. It's supposed oh. to be A, -A Ron. Oh. Tig, Tig made the picture. Do you know what I like about it? Now that we brought it up, now that we brought it up, my favorite part about this picture Wait. is I'm on top. I don't know how that happened, but thank you. Well, don't worry. Now, now that I know I got to change it, we're going to put yours off screen. It's going to be half cut off. Twitch.tv slash Rud. <laughs> <laughs> to, get, to get all your gaming all content, ready. go to Rud. I'm over here. I looked over and I was like, why is my name spelled wrong? You know what the worst part is? As I was making it, I'm like, I should probably double check. Nah. At this he, moment, he, he checked the first three and then he's like, the last one's probably good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. oh, oh, no, dude. The disrespect. What? Yeah. Walking in disrespect out here, dude. You know what was crazy to think about? I, I even spelled correctly the person who hasn't gotten back into streaming yet. <laughs> I even made sure to spell Vance is right. <laughs> I'm getting there, all right? It's a very busy, it's it's very busy this year at work, at the beginning of the year. I can't talk about it because it's classified stuff, but I will I will get there. Go to stream at the end. Be fine. <laughs> we get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're a manager of a lot of burgers. Now, so speaking of like the thing and how Tig's name's on, not on there, Tig, you Man, he's trying to today. guilt trip me. This isn't no, no, fair. No, 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 no. It actually. Tig, you no. did that house, right? How'd that go? My man just gave me very, this, like, is, this, isn't fair. this isn't fair. This isn't fair. It was no, like an in and out not... kind of like look, you know, quick sweep through the house because we've already kind of like went by before, looked in the windows and stuff. It's promising. Let's put it that way. Well, he don't got a PS5 though. I say so. So for anyone who doesn't know, Tig is Tig is looking to move into a house. That if he can move into, he will actually be able to start streaming. So that's what I'm if, saying. It's, if it's Old Faithful right can handle it. Does Notorious yeah. know he's homeless yet? <laughs> uh, actually, I actually, we still kind of right? need him. 
Oh, dude, three room, three bedrooms. there's four <clears throat> bedrooms. Oh, so oh. I can move in. What? There's uh, a random bedroom downstairs in this unfinished basement, but the bedroom's finished pretty much. It's just got to be painted. That's the perfect stream then, room. Can't no, actually, we were going to throw, like, Notorious down there or something like that. <laughs> to oh, keep him go. in the basement. Yeah. It's his that own works. dungeon. So, yeah, that's what I was saying. It was like, this is, like, Tig hasn't actually streamed on Twitch. So, like, it's fine. But I, if Tig can, that'd be cool. Oh, yeah. That'd be awesome. Dude, at least I'll be able to make content. You know what I mean? Yeah, if nothing else. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I wish I could keep doing it. It's, it's hard for me, especially with the... Uh, I can get called in literally at any moment. It's hard for me to make content because I suck at every game, game I try. <laughs> I mean, no. Oh, Nathan was listening to the podcast. <laughs> now he's in the background. You can see his shoulder and his feet in the same frame. That's how short he is. That's <laughs> <laughs> fuck, hey, dude. <laughs> That's my cousin. I could say. I could say. The that. crazy thing is, I have the camera zoomed in, so you could probably see everything if it wasn't. <laughs> That's that's my oh, cousin. I can say whatever I want. Oh, Hashtag shout I'm out Nate Dog. I fixed it on stream. Oh, the thing oh, yeah. I can't. <laughs> I like how you put a a. <laughs> <laughs> you should put a line through the Aaron part. <laughs> I didn't think that far ahead. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> that correction. So we we're playing Valorant now. That's fun. I mean, I think you're you and Vance are you and Vance are playing Valorant. Can you see that? You, Yo, Vance, kind of, that's crazy. This, this, is, this is my proudest thing I got. Well, okay, no, no, no. This is my second proudest thing. This is the proudest thing I got because it was from my son. So that is why I have hey. this. But have you ever touched one of these before? No. No. But I want the to. The feeling of this, I've literally taken it out of the box twice. And every time I touch it, I go, mm-mm. It feels too good. And I put it back. Vance, I have the bad one. It feels too good. It's like, it feels way. This, this thing is $70. And it feels way. Like, knowing that that much money, like, it's that much money. But when you feel it, you're like, mm. I can see why it's that much. You guys want to see a relic? Wait, Vance. Yeah, I, I, got the, I got the, the uh, oh, vampire one. Oh, oh, nice. I got Batmite. I got... I mean, I don't... Yeah, I, I I Isaac has a bunch of... Uh, Isaac has a bunch of Marvel. This one's Batman oh, Red Rain is what it is. Batman Red Rain. Yeah. Dude, I love Pokemon Sapphire! <laughs> you know what? My my Game Boy is not in my game room, all right? Unfortunately, you guys can't... Unfortunately, you guys can't actually buy that merch anymore. Oh, sucks to suck. Dent drop one, but you know, I heard th there's a rumor that there might there might be something in February. We're looking into it. You know. Oh, I know what I could show off. There might be something. If you're wondering, this is uh. If, if you're wondering, this is my son's. Okay. <laughs> Yo, what? Ew, 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 Dude, ew. Hey, I want Why do you that. have domes? Dude, you're gonna turn your house down with that kind oh, of because hey, my that? thumb, it's a scuff controller. Oh. It's the Chicago Huntsman. Dude, oh, I want oh, that oh. so bad. Why yeah. why do you have un All right, so when I'm playing, I don't put my thumbs actually on top of the thing. I have them sitting to the side. So that's why I have them domed. So like when I play with a normal PS4 controller, shit. My thumbs just start to rub and stuff, and it like sure, irritates it. So, dude, I want that controller so bad. I have a sappy story as to why I still use the controller. I, I mean, use. you can have this one. Just no, kidding. I don't want that I'll one. Take I'll take it. Ah, uh, that one's broken. I use the classic Ocean Shadow. Okay, I have a broken controller too. It's currently at Scuff, actually. Bro, that's why I got two. <laughs> one's I broken. Got I couldn't pure... return it because of the pandemic. I still use this because this is what my dad bought me. When we were going to like a hard time, so it's like it's very special to me. Hey, can make me cry. Shut up, Rudy. <laughs> dude, because they suck, dude. That would break. I hate elite controllers with a passion. It's literally, dude, the, that Huntsman controller and how expensive it is is literally like one of the reasons why I switched to keyboard and mouse because those controllers are like 250 bucks, and when they break, then you're just like, like mice so hardly break. <laughs> My well, right, and like, well, the thing is, like, when that when that controller breaks, like, yeah, you can go back to like a regular PlayStation controller, but when you're not, used not to the same. paddles on the back and you don't have it anymore, you're, like, for the next month, I'm like literally being held back. We're on a keyboard and mouse. Just start slapping nothing. Trust yeah. me, I can vouch for what Rudy's talking about is because I just sent mine in. You're currently doing it right now. But the thing is, I'm still cracked no matter what. 
The worst part gamer, is dude. that happened to me. It was week three or week four of the SCL and Smite. My elite controller broke, and I used the paddles for all my actives. So uh, there were like three documented games where it's like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna see Delirium walking around the jungle. He's gonna pop beads for no reason. Okay, we're gonna assume that was a misclick. <laughs> I, I just could not land my shit. Yikes. So yeah, so yeah, back to what we said. I don't know how we actually got off the topic, but uh, Valorant. So we're technically, for the most part, we're all playing Valorant now. Me and Vance have been playing Valorant for a long time. Blocky and Tig have like Beta. kind of really played it, but Rudy's really been getting yeah. into it. Uh, Rudy hates it with a passion, but also can't put it down. Uh, <laughs> Dude, it's so <laughs> annoying because like when you play a game on my screen, he's this way. Yeah, Tig's, you're looking at pointing at Tig for me. Yeah, you're pointing at Tig. Oh. You're pointing at me. Dude. Weird. Dude, Valorant is so <laughs> annoying because when I play with you guys who are too high of an elo for my small brain. No, still trying dude, to learn you're the game. mine in Vance's elo. Bro, no, I'm not. Because yes, you I have are. to sit there for, what is it, best of thir- or first of 13 to have to sit there for 26 rounds, 25 rounds of just getting destroyed. It, so no matter the, what the game sucks when it can, so it can be hard it can be harder when you play with um three or more people because pretty much the game is like oh if these people are grouped up then they have like they they know how each person works as like a team kind of thing so then they try to get yeah. people okay. with elo yeah. a little bit higher so like when i played by myself uh earlier today and i just completely slapped like we won 10 to 2 but then when i play with you guys like you know, there's a little, lot more effort See, that, that I have to do. And then you, well, all of you guys, though, you guys, like, keep up with me. You see, a lot of games are, are, most games are, I would say, are like that. Like, where when you get into a group, you either, like, you get, just, like, it's such a bad idea to be in a group. Because, like, in Overwatch, if you win in as a group, you get, like, a tenth of the amount of elo you should have gotten. Which is or, such like, a terrible you get put system. Up against people, you get put up against people who are too good. Like, why are they trying? Like, I understand there needs to be some kind of a balance, right? But at the same I mean, time, I feel like there's too much. Like, you, you, you it could be the be algorithm like trying to people. figure it out. Like, the algorithms could probably find like try to find like a happy medium. I guess. Well, see, that's you know what, what I, mean? I liked about CS:GO is if you really wanted to play with a team of five, you could go to like any other website that has servers. Like, I can't, I can't think of them off the top of my head right now because it's been like years. But there's like servers were like if you want to play the csgo matchmaking you can but if you want to play against actual teams and have a true rank like you can go here it's like it's like no, so cool like, off topic tig can you look to the right i just want to see this fade that fade the cameras are oh oh, oh, oh oh yo what are you is that like a your bald yo is that a two a 30 dollar tip was not enough He's bald on the yeah, side. Is that, is that a two faded up? I have no idea what he did. I Dude, don't that's, I just kind of showed him a that picture. That has to be at least a two. Two or that one. It looks like a high fade is what it is. So. That's like my Look. type of haircut. That literally looks like my haircut. Dude, my future like, wife Normally, I get platform, like a bald okay? fade. <laughs> bald fade to about here. And the rest is <laughs> different. Like, it's shorter. It's not like a bald fade. Like skin, yeah, skin fade pretty much. Except for he actually does the razor instead of the... Yeah, that's what a skin fade is. No, no, not they my the other way around. They take the razor up. Hold on. And then. Oh, so, huh. going back into our gaming conversation. Uh, okay. I, I'm I, sorry. I, I was looking at the. You're good, Bob. You're good. Like, bro, I need to appreciate this. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if I'm saying this. Just, that he doesn't really much have anymore. I don't know if I'm saying this just because me and Vance have uh, really been grinding it, but I think Gears. Has a really good rank system. I like. I really like the way they do ranked. So the way they do ranked is everybody starts in bronze. You do. You will always start in bronze. There are no uh, placement matches. You're I mean, that's in, what Apex does, though, too. Yeah, yeah. It, this this is the Apex Gears method. I just know like Rudy and hasn't even played Apex, so he wouldn't know that method either. Oh, okay, okay. So what happens is you earn in-game ranked points. You essentially earn your e- MMR points and are able to see it at all times. And that MMR points is what you use. So, like, bronze is zero MMR to, like, a 1,000. So when you hit a 1,000, you hit bronze two, bronze three, and then silver. 
But once you hit silver, you actually have to spend MMR to even get into a match. So before the match starts, you'll see up in the top right, we're now deducting this much MMR to pay. You basically pay to get into the match with your MMR points. So now, like when me, like uh, me and Vance are in Onyx. So when we start the match, we pay 1500 MMR to even play the match. So the see, whole. That's, that's cool and all until when the season restarts or you say you don't play till halfway through the season. And then you're playing against bronze, but you're really an Onyx player. Just it, macking. It, it has a hyper. It has a hyper rebound. So it's okay. like by the time we hit like bronze three, we'll probably just jump all the way back up to Onyx. Okay. But uh, so essentially, me and Vance start the game negative. We start negative points. So we first have to grind our way up through the ver- like kills, winning rounds, capturing objectives, to get to that fifteen hundred. And then once we hit that fifteen hundred. Win or lose, we're gaining MMR no matter what. So, like, the way the way I describe it is once you hit 1,500, you're purely playing for pride. Which I think is an awesome way to do in ranked. In ranked, like, I don't want to always be thinking about I'm playing for my rank. I want to, I'm playing for, I want to beat these kids. I'm playing ranked because I want to be competitive. I want to beat these kids. That's the side. And I did think that's a cool system of like you pay to get in, you know what you're getting, you know what you're working for, you know exactly how you're getting it, you're constantly seeing your progression. Where it's like there's so like with Overwatch, it's like a secret hidden algorithm with like yeah. in MMR, you don't know what it's basing or going up and down because of. Like in Gears, they just show it all to you and they say, Okay, go. So that's what I like about like the websites. Like like I said, there's the ones for CSGO that where I can't think of like what they're called, but Instead of getting like a bronze, silver, gold rank, they're like S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, right? And you go to this website and you like click find a match, and they have servers integrated into CS:GO that it will like bring like when you click like join the match that you like have accepted on their website, it like automatically puts everyone into like a private lobby, which is so cool. And Game Battles for Call of Duty has done that like the past couple of years, which is like really awesome because these websites have far better rank systems because it's made by the community like they know like what we want and instead of like like we're a game like call of duty obviously like they want to make a league play right but like they're also like their money making is warzone so are they really going to put 100 percent in the league play where rather like they can be like let's just like let game battles literally be in our game so you can go on like game battles find a match and you can see your rank how it should be and then when you like join it and you get on your game it just automatically puts you in that lobby like a game battles hosted lobby and i that's like the best way but the problem with call of duty is like when we do get it which is like usually only every other year we don't even get it right away like we had it in modern warfare but we didn't even have it right away which is like so weird like Ah, dude, ranks are fun. It's just that you mean Black Ops Four, my guy, because Modern Warfare didn't really have a Modern rank. Had they a didn't have a. Oh, I thought yeah, you meant rank play. They had a CDL, like, but it was. Oh, yeah, they had so like a rule I'm set. Saying. They had game battles integrated, but there wasn't a rank about, in the game battles. I know. Well, that's what I'm saying. But the game battles integrated would give you a game battles rank on the website. So uh, now that we're finally found a match. Speaking of which, now that we're finally getting league play, is. Uh, and I, I know, to, I know you're. To transition into that. I know you're gonna play it, Rudy. So I know you as a person like it, but for I want you to take a step back and look as like a whole on COD because I figured you probably have a pretty good perspective on this. Is it too late for league play? Like, is it is it a good thing that it's coming out so late? No, it's there's literally no. The only good thing that comes from it coming out so late is that, like I was saying, how Call of Duty focuses on Warzone because that's where they're making their money. And so if they did come out with League Play now, it would not be the same rules that the pros are playing on. Because so Call of Duty, the league, they have the obvious rules where like Molotovs are banned, or not, not even Molotovs, like Claymores are banned, C4s are banned, shotguns, LMGs are banned, the obvious stuff, right? Mm. But the pros play like 10 hours a day. And so they find like these attachments or maybe a gun or some kind of equipment that is maybe just a little bit too overpowered and the pros like from the outside looking in it looks like they're a bunch of babies and they're just banning things 
but they're actually banning things that are overpowered. Like, they're trying to make the playing field. Like, realistically, like, I know it looks boring from the outside looking in, but the best competitive thing is when everyone has the same gun, you know? Yeah. Because at that so, point, it's just skill. Right. So, that's why they don't give us league play right away, because we'll be playing a totally different game than what the pros are playing. But, it's been so long. It's almost February. We still don't have it. I would rather be playing a bad league play than no league play. Like, because even if I'm playing a bad league play compared to no league play, I know for a fact that I am good enough that, like, let's say I'm, I'm more likely going to hit, like, a master rank. I can still hit a master rank against these kids with the wrong rules. So when we do get the right rules, which aren't even, like, it's not even, like, one day a sniper's banned and the next day it's not, like, a specific one, or, like, one day this gun's banned and the next day it's not. It's, like, just... They'll just find, like, an attachment that's, like, overpowered, right? Like, we can play with that attachment because we're not even, like, pro players in League Play. Like, we're not even good enough to even notice that necessarily. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they notice the micro guys... difference. Exactly. So I was like, just let us play with the rules that we do have that are the obvious bans. Like, obviously, we're not going to play with grenade launchers, so ban that. But let me play League Play. Like, I think the most we should have to wait is two weeks after the game's released. Now, I will say this, and I've always said this, if COD would just do what they should do, which is let the competitive scene stay on one game, so next year when a new game comes out, competitive will still stay on Cold War, like just as an example. If they did that, then I wouldn't mind them taking time on League Play. Because I'm like, the reason why League Play is so annoying right now is this game came out in November, so November, December, January, February, four months in, this game, August, is when COD Champs is going to be played. That's just in a few months after February. After August, everyone gets off of the current game and plays throwback tournaments. No one wants to play Cold War anymore because COD Champs is done. Like, everyone's going to go back to play Black Ops 4, Modern Warfare, Black Ops 3. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think no one plays it. So all, we're, like, we all we need is we need a COD mobile type system on our main cod we need one Absolutely. cod that's just con constantly consistently updating mm -hmm. and let's get rid of it let's just make cod a live service because let's be honest at this point it practically is just disguised yeah. as an annual release that's what i'm saying dude and you know what you could do you can make it so to play if you want to keep your money just make it so we have to pay 60 dollars a year as a membership yeah we're already doing that we're already paying sixty dollars a year for a membership, Ooh. but the game changes every year. That does spiral into some breaking news we have oh, today. Xbox, yeah, Xbox Live has doubled their prices on uh, their live service now. Bro, Omega lol. It is now sixty dollars for a six month card instead of a year card. That's messed up. What about for Game Pass? It does not include Game Pass. So I don't even buy live anymore. I just use Game Pass. Yeah, Game Pass prices are they're they're essentially doing this because now it's like to buy Game Pass Ultimate, which includes gold, is only like four extra dollars a month. So it it's to be like at this point, why wouldn't you get Game Pass? I pay fifteen dollars a month for Game Pass. Oh, you buy Game Pass Ultimate? Yeah. Did you yeah. play on Xbox? Automatically. I had an Xbox. I don't use it anymore. I just do it for like the Xbox games on PC now. Yeah, you could just they they came out with an only PC Game Pass for five bucks a month. Oh. Dang, dude, Blocky's oh, well. been being swindled. <laughs> oh well, I mean, I still have two other Xboxes in the house. I have two yeah, Xboxes. How, when was the last time they were turned on? One is currently on in my living room. As when was the last time it was when was the last later. time it was turned on to do something on Game Pass? Uh, yesterday. Okay. Well, there you go. Well, well, there you go. You're good. Mm -hmm. Chilling. Okay. Fuck you. Okay. Dude, <laughs> got dude, I would pay like if we got that amazing. If we got game, that COD mobile thing, dude. If yeah. we got that COD mobile thing as our Call of Duty, and I, in all honesty, like I can kind of see them doing that relatively soon because they're already doing it with Warzone. Like, here's a perfect world, in my opinion. Taking our talking slash arguing about this the other day, where so Why Warzone was included. It was just a phone call. Oh, so wow. Warzone is on the Modern Warfare engine, which by far everyone is saying are. Yeah, Modern Warfare is like by far the best engine. However, people say Modern Warfare is not a great game, but Warzone's a great game, and it's on the Modern Warfare engine. 
So if we could just get like next year's COD instead of like well next year's COD's gonna be Sledgehammer, but what if like in a perfect yeah. world they scrap everything and next year's COD is just back on the Modern Warfare engine and it's just called Call of Duty. And like what you were saying, it's like a COD mobile thing where they just bring in all the maps and then we just pay a sixty dollar a year fee. That'd so be really hard to do. I think they do something is, like that in uh, China. It's called a Call of Duty Online. Yes, they have yeah, that in China. Yeah. It's called COD Live. They do that so with uh, they do that, that with Halo too, ironically. So my thing is, why don't we just get rid of all three developers and just have them combine and that's just have I'm, one massive uh, developer? That's what I'm saying. Like, like they can just have one massive developer where every year Warzone is the only battle royale. This COD, like Call of Duty, like whatever you want to call it, we'll just call it Call of Duty game will be the multiplayer. And that can be made by Treyarch, because I would say most people think Treyarch is the best multiplayer games. Yes, but correct. it would be on the same engine as Warzone, because that's another they thing. They keep the zombies pros... instead of survival. Yeah, they keep zombies. And that's another thing the pros are saying. The thing that they hate the most this year is when they're done scrimming, they can't go play Warzone because they they say like if they play Warzone for too long, it messes up their mechanics in Cold War because it's a different game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because they are so good that that actually matters for people like us we can go back and forth like we're not you know we're I not mean, that top I, tier i can agree to the fact because you can't tax sprint in uh cold war so yeah when you're trying to run in our modern warfare like in warzone it's like bruh i need to double tap you like you have to keep that in your mind like I have to double yeah tap and in warzone there's like taps live yeah, I'd say in Warzone, slide canceling is way more prevalent, like actually good. Where in Cold War, it's just like, all right. And bunny hopping is in Warzone, it's literally not even in Cold War at all. And so that's why I was like, dude. And then what they could do if they wanted to, they could take, so Raven, in this perfect world, Raven's not doing anything. They could, if they want, re still release like a Call of Duty campaign every year that Raven just makes for the campaign people. Like, we would they could just like do a Raven. continuous campaign. Yeah, like, like oh, once the campaign oh, one is done, add on to it just do a yeah. yearly act like this yeah, year dude. we're having one where this is a new act it'll have multiple seasons and the next year will be a new act yeah what dude that, i mean that's literally the perfect cod and i would easily like if we got that for competitive and it was like 20 dollars a month so like 120 dollars for the year i would pay that without even thinking about it that'd be no no doubt in my mind i'm like that's easy easiest purchase of my whole life Twenty dollars a month to play my COD like every year. That's what I was like. I wouldn't complain about League Play if they if they announced today, like, hey, League Play's coming out tomorrow. And by the way, why are you saying timeout, Tig? Your math didn't add up. You said twenty bucks a month, and you said one hundred and twenty a year. Yeah. <laughs> oh, two hundred forty yeah. a year. Whatever. That, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. wait. I'm, hey, sorry, yeah. I'm not paying two forty a year to play Call of Duty. I'm sorry. No, I think you meant ten bucks. I think you meant ten bucks a month because normally a standard game is sixty dollars. Twenty yeah. bucks a month, or it'd probably be like pay a hundred for a year or 150 20 for a year. I would year do hundred. Yeah, yeah, do a hundred for the year. The right? second we hit two hundred, not not happen. Sorry, you just threw me off when you. I was like, that math doesn't add up. But. but like, dude, if I if they said like tomorrow, like even if they said so, like that perfect scenario to the side, because if that happens, it's not going to happen for at least a, a couple more years because next year's game is already basically confirmed to be Sledgehammer. And we don't want them involved at all in this permanent COD, okay? So, they suck. I say we get rid of Sledgehammer and uh, who made Advanced Warfare? Was that Sledgehammer? Sledgehammer. Yeah. That was the first, the first COD. Sledgehammer ever. again. Yeah, that was the first COD World War II with Sledgehammer, and is, that's why they suck. Is that what Raven does? Raven yeah. just makes campaign? Yeah, but Raven just recently got put in charge of Warzone. I'm He's not saying, who made Dirt? Infinite War. That's Infinite War. Or Infinity Ward. But, um... So, like, that perfect scenario aside, something that would make me, like, be, like, okay with League Play coming out so late is if they came out tomorrow and said, all right, League Play's coming out this week, and by the way, we're confirming now that Cold War will be the competitive game next year, too. I'd be like, all right, bet. Because now, League Play is going to be populated for more than five... Like, at this point, we're going to be able to play League Play for five whole months. When we're... I bought this game to play it for 12... I'm only going to get to play the game what I want for five months. I would say that's the biggest problem with COD is COD has joined this live service lifestyle, but the problem is they're not a live service game. They're an annual 12 month. Every 12 months is a new game game. A totally yep. different. They're game not a too, live like service engine. game. Like if destiny does this, nobody bats an eye. Yeah. I'll wait six months for destiny. 
like but rank is, because Destiny Destiny Two has already been out for like six years. I'm about to say Destiny Two just adds add-ons and on add-ons on. Add-ons. Yeah, actually, yeah, Destiny Two is doing what we're saying COD should do. They're they're doing exactly what we're saying we should do, and Destiny Two is an amazing game. I don't like this current expansion, but uh, but but besides the point, I think I the mean, game overall is good. My roommate likes it. I haven't played it myself, but my roommate is enjoying it. My brother also enjoys it, so. It just it took out like a lot. I mean, it did take out like four planets. Yeah, like we lost legitimate content. But the thing is, they also brought back like the Crucible. I mean, not the Crucible, the uh, uh, European EDZ. Dead Zone. Yeah, the EDZ and everything, which no, we haven't seen that since Destiny One. It sucks because I hit Masters for two seasons in a row on Destiny, and then it switched to the shotgun hand cannon meta, and. I just don't like that meta. I hate playing it. Bro, I, I, on the, no, last season was the Weather Horde. Like, yeah. you hop in the Crucible, you, all you would see is the Weather Horde. And it was very annoying. I like, missed. I really hop in and I was getting grenaded across the map. And I'm like, well, how the fuck am I dying? I miss the auto weapon meta where it was like, you took the Recluse, you took the, you took the Bernice. You took the flipping Huckleberry. Like, you had an SMG, and you either had a scout rifle, a birth rifle, and a assault rifle as your secondary. That shit was fun. I was a hand cannon or a... uh, I was an SMG hand cannon and then a sword. Exactly. Like, you're ruining the game. (laughs) What do you mean? Hand cannons are trash. No. Yes, they are. Nah, I ran around with a thorn. I hope you get pulled over tomorrow. (laughs) like wait hold on let's see if someone's pulled over right now he's, he's still there, there. <laughs> Bruh. Hey, hey guys we've already been doing this podcast for an hour and a half well no hour and a half is the run time of how long my stream has been going but you have to remember there's a 10 minute timer there was the pre-show that lasted like another 10 minutes okay fine there it's is currently no time limit 10 30 content i'm just saying there's no time limit for content wait blocky I mean, do you play destiny you think? i do occasionally what do you play it on and i have uh pc Ooh, we should play Destiny sometime. It's coming. It's coming cross platform this year. I can't wait because I'm tired of switching to Xbox to play with my brother because it's. We should get a raid group my... going. That'd be great content. Uh, that it's would be. be good. I, I'm about to say I already have my roommate. So the reason why we go back and play on Xbox is because we don't have people on PC to mm. play to do the raids. You know how annoying that is. It's annoying. Vance, would you play with us? Yeah, I mean, uh, the only the latest DLC I have though is just the Forsaken one. That was the last time I, I played. I think you'd get Beyond Light. But then, it, oh, so I it, so I had that on PlayStation, and then um, I got rid of my PlayStation. <laughs> and then, well, so I, I have two. So I had a Pro, and then I have a, uh, a Slim. But I got rid of my Pro because I, I don't use it. Uh, Slim's my wife, so I'm not saying at the moment. Can, but but like, it, so it transferred my stuff over. Mm. Except it just didn't transfer that I actually. It doesn't transfer Forsaken. DLCs, which is annoying. Yeah, but it transferred my DLC weapons. Yep. It doesn't like, I still have ownership all my... of the DLC. Yeah, I feel like so that's if you have cross saved as a game, like as a developer and everything, you should be able to cross. Like I looked it up. It, it has to do with the fact because you have to remember when you buy that DLC, the platform you, you buy like... it on, they get a cut of that. So Steam's like, we don't want you playing an expansion on Steam when you're when the money you paid for that expansion went to Microsoft because you bought it on Xbox. So the funny thing is, if you sign up for uh, what's Google's uh, platform right now that they're using Stadia, the game? Stadia, yeah. yeah. If you do Stadia, you get all the DLCs for free for like two months. That's not worth buying a Stadia though. <laughs> it's not, but you get a like a free trial to do it. Well, ironically, people think Destiny is kind of a money pit. You can get literally every single expansion right now for only 60 bucks. Not a piece. You get all of them for 60 Which is kind of... It's just buying a new game. Yeah, that's four whole campaigns with exotic quests, strikes, missions, but the thing is, Crucible maps. you got to remember, you can't do half those, or those quests right now because they took out 
four planets. They took out, uh, didn't they take out Mars, uh, Nexus? Or oh, Nexus, shit. Or- they took out Titan. I keep forgetting that they didn't... Because remember, with all the other ones, there was like that you could go to the legacy campaigns and still play them. I forgot. You just can't even play those at all no. anymore, can you? Like, they have them vaulted right now. And they <sighs> plan on bringing them back every once in a while. So you just need... So you, you technically just need to spend $30 because you, the only one you need to get is Beyond Light. Yeah. Oh. Pretty much. And then eventually, uh, they're going to bring them back. Like, there's, they're not gone forever. Like, it... Destiny... Destiny's doing it the smart way right now. I love how they they gave out their plan, too. They're like, you're getting this expansion this year, this expansion next year, this one this year. They have expansions all the way up to 2013, and then they're coming out with a new game in, like, 20... I mean, not 2013. John hype for 2013. It's going to be a good year. (laughs) Oh, there you go. Rudy, blink! My Discord crashed again. All right, dude, it's time to wrap this up. I got to go to the bathroom. Discord crashed again. No, nah, but uh, in 2024, I think, is when they're doing, like, Destiny 3. Mm-hmm. Also, all I'm saying is, RIP Cade. I want Cade back. Cade 6 is the G. Uh, Cade is amazing, but I totally agree with this death. It needed to happen. No, you want to know the reason Spoilers. why they killed him off? We know the reason why they killed him off. They even said okay, it. Okay. It's because he, he added too much comedy to the game, and they were taking it towards a very dark, serious story. Mm-hmm. Well, also the voice actor wanted more money, and they oh. weren't giving him more money. Like that's the reason he decided to quit. So they had to kill him off. But let's remember, because he died, we got the most badass moment in Destiny when we finally got to hear our guardian talk. And dude, you can't tell me there wasn't that feeling deep down in your balls to get there and get shit done, <laughs> bro. When he died, John, I'm a I was so upset. I was like, bro, I love Cade. Everybody does, but he he had to go. He did not have to go. Yes, he did. <laughs> no, you didn't. All right, guys, I'm going to the bathroom in the next two minutes. Let's roll. Okay. Go next you don't even play minutes. Destiny. You don't need to be here, scrub. No. <laughs> Come on, it's 1030. Wrap it up. Okay. We got to put a new time limit on here. You know, you know how we're talking about COD? Like, you, you know, no, we're talking about Destiny. Yeah, I looked crazy. at the time. It's 1030. <laughs> Nine to ten is the Bruh, podcast not, time. Yeah. Okay, the best uh, way to do the outro... It's only 8.30 for me. The best way to do the outro is we're going to plug stuff. Tomorrow, on mine and Rudy's channel, we have D&D going live. To, it's not technically a lit G thing, there's multiple people. Uh, we got character, just character creation tomorrow. Uh, mm-hmm. And then sometime next week, we're going to be doing a Ruby randomized Nuzlocke. I need to talk to you, Rudy. I can't do it tomorrow, by the way. So, okay. that's coming. Blocky, you got any content coming out? Uh, uh, I don't know. Shocker. Vance, you got any content coming out? Uh, not at the moment. Soon, but not right now. Tig, have a great night. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you guys for coming out to episode three of the Literal Podcast. If you're in my, if you're in the stream right now, stick around. We're still gonna be playing some games, but the podcast is. Did Rudy's webcam crash again? No. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the little green bars. <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out. Have you a great crash. night. Stay safe. Uh, six feet away. Masks on. Come on. Don't be stupid, stupids. Peace.